today's topic of discussion centrifuge how will define centrifuge biological centrifugation is a process that uses centrifugal force to separate and purify mixture of biological particle in a liquid medium different particles are separated based on their size shape density and viscosity of the medium it is a simple device or machine used to separate different type of particles which is based on their size shape density and viscosity here most important one is centrifugal force are used here it is a key technique for isolating and analyzing isolating and analyzing the cell subcellular fractions supra molecule complexes and isolated macro molecules such as protein and nucleic acid first analytical ultra centrifuge was developed by swedberg in the year of 1920 so swedberg developed ultra centrifuge in 1920 in centrifuge different type of gradient material are used sucrose silica gel glycerol calcium chloride folic acid etc so this one is the introduction part it is a simple machine used to separate different type of particles based on their size shape density and viscosity swedberg developed ultra centrifuge in the year of 1920 what is the principle the basic physics on which the centrifuge work is gravity and generation of the centrifugal force to sediment different type of fraction rate of sedimentation depends on applied centrifugal field that is g g depends angular velocity omega in radian per second radial distance or in cent cm centimeters so g equal omega to r here we can easily observe the principle g equal omega to r g is nothing but centrifugal force omega is angular velocity r is radial distance then we calculate centrifugal field this is the figure we observed sedimentation different type of particles when we keep our sample in centrifuge after centrifugation we can separate so a rate of sedimentation depending on factors other than centrifugal force mass of particles that is density and volume density of medium shape of particles and frictions next one is sedimentation time this one depends on size of particles density different between particles and the medium then radial distance from the axis of rotation of liquid then radial distance from the axis of rotation bottom of the test tube so this one is rate of sedimentation this one is the sedimentation time different type of centrifuge machine we are using first one is small bench uh, type of centrifuge then high speed 
centrifuge third one is ultra centrifuge this ultra centrifuge also having further two types proprietary centrifuge then analytic centrifuge first we will discuss about that small bench uh, centrifuge in this one we will discuss that small centrifuge or microfuge uh, this centrifuge work at a speed around 8000 to 13000 rpm revolution per minute then rcf relative centrifugal force is 10000 g for rapid sedimentation of small volume 1 to 2 minutes by using this we can purify or separate blood samples this centrifuge mainly used in small laboratory example pathology laboratory so first one is small bench centrifuge in this one we discussed the small centrifuge or small microfuge this one work speed 8000 to 13000 rpm then rcf 10000 g mainly used in small laboratory example pathology laboratory one more small bench centrifuge example desktop centrifuge it is a very simple and a small centrifuge maximum speed around 3000 rpm this one don't have any temperature regulatory system because it is also used in small laboratory used normally to collect rapidly sedimenting substance such as blood cells so this one is a desktop centrifuge second so type of centrifuge high speed centrifuge this one mainly used different laboratory including physics chemistry biology laboratory maximum speed of this centrifuge around uh, 25000 rpm and 90000 g centrifugal force this one equipped with refrigeration why means we remove heat easily to remove heat easily so the temperature is maintained in between 0 to 4 degree celsius by means of thermocouple this one used to collect microorganism cell debris cells large cellular organelles precipitate of chemical reactions also used to isolate the subcellular subcellular organelles like nuclei mitochondria and lysosome so high speed centrifuge maximum speed speed is 25000 rpm here we are using for cooling purpose we are using refrigerator maintaining temperature 0 to 4 degree celsius third one is ultra centrifuge most important centrifuge because this one we are using in biomolecular molecular biology laboratory so operate at a speed 75000 rpm providing the centrifugal force 5 lakh g rotor chamber is sealed and evacuated by pump to attend vacuum then refrigeration system in between temperature 0 to 4 degree ultra centrifuge further classified into two types preparatory and analytical centrifuge this preparatory centrifuge mainly used for isolation of biological material it uh, further classified into two types homogeneous medium then density gradient medium based on that medium we classified into two types homogeneous and density gradient medium 
this one homogeneous separation is achieved based on the size of that particles this density gradient medium to purify subcellular organelles and macromolecules what is the use of both homogeneous and density gradient medium means separation of rna dna hybrid ribosomal subunit dna plasma lipoproteins lysosome mitochondria etc so these are the things separation we are using preparatory centrifuge next one is analytical centrifuge this analytical centrifuge speed 70000 rbm then rcf 5 lakh g here two type of cell are used analytical and counterpoint cells are used the uses of analytical centrifuge purity of micro molecules then change in relative molecular mass of super molecules then application of centrifuge centrifuge having various application first one is removal of cellular element from blood then removal of chemically precipitated protein third application separation of subcellular organelles dna rna last one is separate lipid component so these are the main application of centrifuge now we will see that notes format centrifuge first page this one is the second page Thanks for watching.